ये जो इंडिया है ना मिलियन ऑफ इट्स पुअरेस्ट आर नाउ डेस्परेट सम ऑफ देम एंग्री नो मनी नो फूड नो वर्क यू सो देम एट मुंबई बैंड्रा स्टेशन हंड्रेड ऑफ देम रिपोर्टेडली आफ्टर हियरिंग रूमर्स दैट ट्रेन वर गोइंग टू टेक दम होम desperation forcing them to abandon all social distancing not caring even about police lathis here are similar visuals jobless angry workers on the streets of surat the same happened in mumbai's mumbra suburb also in rajasthan even tamil nadu after narendra modi announced lockdown 2.0 and expect to see more of this in the days ahead yes the situation facing modi and the state governments is unprecedented but it is also clear that we are failing our poorest in a big big way to understand let us rewind a bit to 22nd march when all 12500 passenger trains across india were stopped and all bus travel too the government saw millions of migrant workers crowding train and bus stations to get home yet trains and buses were stopped leaving them stuck in the cities On 24th March with just 4 hours notice came the 21 day full lockdown despite Modi ji's plea lakhs decided to walk home why would they risk corona why would they walk for days with their children on their heads because with no jobs no money getting to their villages to their homes was their only hope so where did the government go wrong it had two options number 1 allow migrant workers to get home to their villages for that trains and buses in fact extra trains and buses were needed for at least a week before the lockdown this would have decongested the cities would have led to more efficient social distancing both in cities and in villages instead the government said stay in the cities but to make that happen you have to put money into the jobless workers pocket that was not done The cash and food relief announced by the finance minister was too little. It did not even include most migrant workers, and for the eligible few, it wasn't clear how these small amounts would even reach them. And now the PM says full lockdown till 3rd May. Naturally, that triggers fresh panic which spills onto the streets of Mumbai. Okay. Now, the need of the hour is solutions. and for that we need to number 1 accept the enormity of the challenge just homilies on tv broadcasts are not going to cut it and number 2 urgently urgently organize more cash and more food for our poorest and deliver it to understand the enormity of the situation look at this economist mohan guru swami says about 136 million workers in india have no contracts most of them are daily wagers trying to survive a 40 day lockdown with no income that is 1/10 1/10 of india's population even after the lockdown a cmie report says 30% of these workers will stay unemployed 30 to 40 million workers who will need cash and food for many more months to survive experts have explained how the 1.7 lakh crores offered as relief so far by nirmala sitaraman is too little much much more money is needed possibly 10 times more mohan guru swami says the money is there number 1 india has over 480 billion dollars invested abroad monetizing just 1/10 would be 3.2 lakh crore rupees number 2 the rbi has 9.6 lakh crore rupees as reserves meant for financial emergencies that is now one third of that would be another 3.2 lakh crore rupees number 3 access 10 to 20% of big bank deposits in exchange for tax free bonds that would unlock even more funds so the enormous need is clear economists have suggested several cash options that are available But what's puzzling is the finance minister's silence. After her 27th March press conference, Nirmala Sitaraman has been mostly silent. Okay, apart from cash, is this the need for food? We've all heard the announcement of 5 kilos grain and 1 kilo of dal, but is this reaching those stuck in the cities? Visuals of these agitated workers on the streets of Mumbai suggests that food is not reaching them. The irony underlined by agricultural economist Devendra Sharma is 
that India right now has a massive 350 lakh tons of excess wheat and rice, 8.5 lakh tons of extra pulses or dal, 30 lakh tons of buffer stock of sugar. But even in a national emergency, despite this excess food, we are failing to feed the very people whom we have stopped from going back to their homes. Ye jo India hai na, surely, surely it needs to treat those worst hit by the lockdown with more urgency, with more planning and with a lot more dignity.